Performing arts organizations are having to regroup as COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations surge. As of today, that means more restrictions next time you see a show. As you can imagine, we came to this decision not lightly and followed the science and the best practices that were going on, not only in our community, but around the country as well, and lined up with those changes. Steve Lofton is president of the Cincinnati Arts Association, which manages the Aronoff Center and Music Hall. He says it's time to turn on the lights and get back on the stage, but it has to happen safely. We're very anxious to get back into a routine of performances. The buildings have been quiet for almost a year and a half, and it's so important that we're able to expedite the opportunity to bring full audiences shoulder to shoulder back into the facility. So this fall, you'll have to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test, as well as wear a mask. It's a trend event planners are seeing across the country. Two months ago, we were doing weddings with two and 300 people, no mask. There was just a lot less of a worry, but with the Delta variant, you know, we're, we are in a new, really in a new territory. Dora Manuel says they're already seeing lower RSVPs to weddings because of the Delta variant and vaccine requirements are becoming more popular. We don't see those government restrictions anymore, at least in our state, but we are seeing them from individuals and from corporations and from and from the venues. To be clear, these restrictions at Music Hall and the Aronoff do not apply to private events, so a wedding won't be affected. And Lofton hopes sometime soon, performances won't be either. For now, these restrictions are in place so that we can get on with the show. So Music Hall and the Aronoff are just two of several theaters, including the No and Ensemble theaters, who are requiring either a vaccination or a negative test. But when it comes to the venues and the organization, some things do vary. That's this, the date that some of these restrictions take effect, as well as how they're handling younger children, 12 and younger, who can't get vaccinated. So if you do buy tickets, be sure to check out not only the venue, but the organization as well to check out those restrictions. Reporting live at Music Hall, Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.